So our first question, um, can you explain the exclusion ratio for a non-qualified annuity? Exclusion ratio for non-qualified annuity. Okay, so we do. We got this question early, so we got a little chart for you. Uh, exclusion ratio. So in this particular case, we're going to, uh, you know, make an assumption you got $100,000. You're going to mm -hmm. put it in a lump sum. And you're going to buy what, what I call a SPIA, or what they call a SPIA, which is a single premium immediate annuity. Mm -hmm. $100,000. And you can see the monthly benefit is $565. Okay? And that's that benefit is based on your life expectancy and interest rates current, you know, that kind of thing. So what you do to figure this out is really what you're trying to figure out is how much of my $565 is going to be taxable, taxable. Yep. versus how much is just a return of my $100,000. Mm -hmm. And so what they do is they take your life expectancy, which in this case we'll say is 240 months, uh, and they multiply it times 565, 135,600. Right, so that thirty-five thousand six hundred dollars was your gain, you know, over that period of time. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to pay tax on, at yep. least up front for that two hundred forty months. So seventy-three point seven percent, which is the calculus, you know, or the uh, you know math from from that uh, division problem, seventy-three point seven percent of your principal is going to be sorry of your payment is going to be tax-free. Mm -hmm. The rest is going to be taxable. Yeah, the you. U.S. government doesn't like the concept of double taxing, and so whenever, whenever you put in money, it's considered you've already paid taxes on it, and so they don't want to double tax you on that. And so return of capital is always tax-free because you've been taxed on it previously. Another thing with annuities is if you outlive that 240 months, you would start to pay that 100% of that $565 payment would now be considered ordinary income for you and be taxable because you have used up all that return of capital. Yeah, you got back your 100000 You live longer than expected, and now everything you're making is uh, gain over and above, yep. uh, and that means that's taxable, which makes sense. So in this case, you would have paid taxes on that 35600 and then if you live longer than 240 months, you'll pay taxes on whatever other uh, amounts that you get out of there, which is, which is fair enough. Uh, now, this is specifically for what they call a non-qualified annuity, hmm. which just means that this is after-tax dollars yeah. that went in there. This is not money you took out of your IRA or something. That's totally different. But this is after-tax money that you have that you're put into this annuity. And what you're trying to do is generate a uh, an income for a lifetime or, you know, so basically buying a pension. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make sure that I have $565 coming in no matter what happens as long as that insurance company can do it, right? Yep. And annuity is all, always considered ordinary income, and so yeah. it's taxed at your ordinary income bracket and right. not capital gains. Not capital gains, yeah. So uh, annuities miss out on that uh, nice uh, capital gain yeah. tax. Yeah, that's right. 